what's the next big social media platform that I should be paying attention to? Um, I don't even know that I would say it's the next big thing, but obviously the thing that's growing the fastest right now is TikTok. So if you're not paying attention to that, if that's something new to you, then hopefully this video will spur you to educate yourself a little bit more on TikTok. But right now, TikTok is the fastest growing thing that's going on out there. I would couple that with Instagram Reels, which is a very similar type feel to TikTok as far as short videos, coupled with music, things like that. Um, we're seeing a lot of people have some success with that. Uh, you're getting in front of a lot of eyes that are, it's, it, you're getting in front of a lot of eyes organically or for free, non-paid in a such a way that we haven't really seen that in a while. Facebook and some of these other platforms, you've had to pay money to get in front of a lot of people with reels and TikTok. You can still get in front of a lot of people without having to pay money. So that's the biggest thing that's going on right now. Um, so Basically, um, I would say the next big thing, it's hard to tell right now because beyond TikTok, there's a lot of different things that are on the horizon. It's hard to know. And, and I don't try to sit back and say that I have a crystal ball into what's going to be the next thing. What I would say is to be paying attention to things that kids are using and understand that typically what's happened historically is the teenagers, 14 to 18, they start using certain platforms. And as those platforms gain momentum, they tend to skew up. So then college kids start using them to a certain degree. And then it continues to skew up to parents and things like that. So TikTok right now started as a, an app called Musical.ly a couple of years ago. And then it was bought out and it became TikTok. It was very young, even younger than high school. And it was predominantly people like lip syncing and doing dance routines and things like that. But it's totally changed. If you haven't spent any time on there lately, you see doctors, lawyers, dentists, all sorts of professionals on there now do, utilizing it. And it's not all doing singing and dancing and things like that. You can use it in a very professional way if you choose to do so. Uh, but it's skewing up. And now you're seeing a lot of parents and, and, and older demos starting to use the platform as well. What I would say is to just pay attention to what platforms are out there and educate yourself. Don't try to predict. Don't try to pick a winner. What's going to be the next big thing? Just be conscious of what's going on out there and what platforms or people are using and understand them enough. Even if you don't want to use TikTok in your personal life or the next platform that comes along, be conscious enough of what's out there and understand how people are using it so that if the time it becomes right for you to use it, that you understand it, that you're not educating yourself from square one. Another quick little hack that uh, actually Gary V sort of uh, was the one that sort of clued me into this is you can go on to, you know, look at the, the most downloaded apps. Like you look at the top 20 apps that are being downloaded in iTunes, you know, on your phone, on the phones with regard to Android and or Apple, you can always keep track of what the top 20 apps are and occasionally pop in and check on the top 20 apps and see if there are things that you don't know that are in there. If all of a sudden something starts showing up as the number fourth most downloaded app consistently over a course of a couple months, it's probably something you should look at and educate yourself about because if that many people are downloading something, there's a little bit of momentum behind it and maybe something you want to pay attention to. So that's another way without you having to like ask, you know, kids or things like that, Hey, what's hot or whatever, and maybe get a variety of different responses that may or may not be accurate. It's pretty hard to miss on just watching what apps are being downloaded and see if anything new is popping up and staying there consistently if you start seeing something that's in one of the top of those lists, as far as apps that are being downloaded, it's probably something to take a look at and at least educate yourself as with regard to what it is and why people are using it.